Hi guys, 5A77 here, and I am going to be going over some technical specifications or a review for the iPod Touch 4th generation. The reason I am doing this again is because my last video about this really wasn't that good. So, yeah, let's get started. Okay, the height going up is 4.4 inches. The width, which is this part and the top part that is 2.3 inches the depth which is how thin it is that is 0.28 inches um <clears throat> the weight is 3.56 ounces the capacities are available that you can buy are 8 gigabyte 32 gigabyte and 64 gigabyte models this is the 32 gigabyte as you can see right there. Um, <clears throat> the display is 3.5 inch diagonal widescreen multi-touch display and it's 960 by 640 pixel resolution at 326 pixels per inch. Um, you can, uh, with the back facing camera, you can uh, record 720p up to 30 frames per second with audio and still photos you can do uh, 960 times 720 um, and that is with the back camera the <clears throat> VGA quality photos and video up to 30 pr frames per second with the front camera um, <clears throat> you can control the exposure just by tapping on the screen and um, you can geotag your photos over Wi-Fi. Um, it comes with a 30-pin dot connector and 3.5 millimeter, I think, a stereo headphone mini jack, built-in speaker, and a microphone. As you can see, the microphone is that little teeny dot right there. So, um, that is some. Now I am going to be telling you guys some differences between the last generation iPod Touch and, um, this. So, as you can see, the volume buttons are separate. They have added a back-facing camera. They have added a front-facing camera. And the, um, power button is on the opposite side. It used to be over here. Um, on the bottom... You can see that they have added a speaker port, or not a speaker port, a speaker hole, so there's a speaker. There was on the last one too, but it was in the dock connector somewhere, so it wasn't really as good sound quality. Um, so, uh, in the box, it comes with the iPad Touch, earphones, and the dock connector to USB cable, uh, and the quick start guide. And, um, the battery and power, it has 40 hours of music playback, 7 hours of video playback, um, and these are when they, f when they are fully charged. Um, it has a built-in rechargeable lithium-ion battery, and, um, it does a fast charge. In about 2 hours, it can get to... 80% capacity full charge in about four hours um, so those are most of the like technical specifications about the iPod touch and I'm going to see if you guys will um, I'm gonna see if my camera will focus to see how good quality this is let me focus it and I am recording with the iPod Touch 4th generation, so, yeah, um, let me focus it. This is really how good quality the iPod Touch 4th generation is. And I am going to see if I can focus it. It would probably be a little bit better and better in, like, brighter light. But, um, for this brightness, and it's not that bright in my basement, um, the camera quality isn't that good, but this thing is so good at quality outside, 
sometimes I record videos outside and they're like awesome. So, um, yeah, this records 720p and up to 30 frames per second with audio. Um, so yeah, guys, that was the iPod Touch 4th Generation review. And, um, thanks for watching, guys. Bye.